The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the sterile cap change procedure at Texas Children's Hospital. Caps should be changed every 96 hours prior to performing blood cultures and after the administration of blood products, but no more frequently than every 24 hours. First, you want to assemble your supplies. You need a sterile cap change kit, an additional cap for each extra lumen to be changed, and enough masks for the patient, yourself, and everyone in the room. Ensure that the injection cap can be loosened prior to starting a sterile cap change process, but clamp the lumen first. Open your cap change kit and remove the masks. Place a mask on yourself, the patient, and anyone else within three feet of the patient. Perform hand hygiene. Using aseptic technique, open the kit Place the sterile normal saline flush and the additional caps on the sterile fluid. Don sterile gloves. Prime the injection caps with normal saline. Open all packages of alcohol and place them inside the sterile field. With sterile non-dominant hand, pick up one 4x4 gauze. Hold the catheter with the gauze close to the injection cap connection. Do not set the catheter down until the new cap is attached. With your sterile dominant hand and using another gauze, grasp the injection cap, disconnect, and discard the cap away from your sterile field. With your sterile dominant hand, scrub the hub, the catheter threads, with an alcohol pad using a 15 second scrub. Avoid scrubbing over the top of the catheter. Allow to dry for a full 15 seconds. Attach the sterile injection cap that has been primed with normal saline. Flush with normal saline. Repeat these steps for each additional lumen. If the lumen is to be dormant, flush with the appropriate amount of heparin. Document the cap change in EPIC on the LDA flow sheet.